RGC podcast. Rubber duckies, I, you're the one. <laughs> you make me feel like spring has sprung. <laughs> Rubber ducky, I love you. <laughs> you even kind of sound like yeah. it. <laughs> Thank you. I was trying. I was really trying, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to an RGC Public Library podcast. We are your hosts, Enne and Kelsey, and this is Cover, cover to cover. cover. Oh, Enne, guess where we are? <gasps> my happy place. We're back. Woo! Oh my gosh, how is this cold weather treating you? Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love it. My toes are ice. Nice. I'm wearing flats. Mm. <laughs> I'm wearing semi heels. Mm-hmm but um, very professionalist, but um, I'm actually pretty good. But then again, I, I'm basically a walking furnace. Yeah, it's nice. It's going to just get colder. I know. I heard. I can't believe that. Like, where was this weather last month? I know when we were home. So what's our topic for today? Winter blues. Winter blues. Mm-hmm. Oh, what does winter blues mean to you? Winter blues. It sounds like a song. Winter blues with the color of the eyes. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> um, honestly, um, winter blues to me is like they say that because we're inside so much, we get like a little like depresso espresso. Yeah, a little bit. I see it. It's the seasonal spicy depression. Yeah, seasonal blues. Seasonal blues. Mm-hmm. I understand. But I like winter blues. It sounds cuter. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so am I going to go first? Yes. All right. So the, my book this week, in theme to our topic, Ooh. is called Demon in the Woods. Oh. Now, I saw the cover. It had a young man in a winter woods. Okay. And I said, all right. <laughs> all right. Before he led Rafka's second army, before he created the fold, and long before he became the Darkling, he was just a lonely boy burdened by an extraordinary power. Eric and his mother, Lena, have spent their lives on the run, but they will never find a safe haven. They are not only Grisha, they are the deadliest and rarest of their kind. Feared by those who wish to destroy them and hunted by those who would exploit their gifts, they must hide their true abilities wherever they go. But sometimes, deadly secrets have a way of revealing themselves. This graphic novel is a part of the Shadow and Bone series, mm. which I didn't know before reading it. Oh. I didn't know. So I was, I was a little bit lost. <laughs> the artwork is beautiful, and Danny Pendergast has given such a brilliant atmosphere to the story. The colors are subtle, but work so well and give the book such a consistent feel. This book is basically like a prequel to the main storyline. Oh. It was good. I liked it, but I kind of wish I read, you know, the other books. Can I ask you, would you go back to read those books? Yeah, I probably will. Awesome. That is awesome. And I, I loved, like, the whole summary that you read. Like, Thank you. I think even I would like to read it. It, it. It has a fantasy feel, but it's so, like, I don't know. I enjoyed it. Yeah. And then can I ask you, why does Pentergast... Sound familiar to me. I don't know why. I wish I could answer that for you. I've seen it in a movie or something. Howl's Moving Castle? Hmm? <laughs> no? No. 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 <laughs> no, it's because, okay, because there's a movie called Howl's Moving Castle, and there's a character named uh, Pendragon. His name is Howl Pendragon. No. No? Okay, because that's where I thought. No, it's literally Pentergust. I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, my God, everybody. And you'll let me know. Yes. So what about your story? What are you going to talk about? So this winter is literally what it's called. Oh, <laughs> straight to the point. This <laughs> yes, very on theme. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is part, just like you, I didn't know, but this is part of the Heartstopper story. Okay. okay. I've never heard of this series. Yes, it's a young adult series, mm-hmm. and it. After I read it and found out that it was Heartstoppers, I was like, oh, so it's this huge series that we have, and we have these books at... Oh, in the in the I was going to say at work. Like, <laughs> if, like, you know, at the library. Sorry, everybody. I mean, we work at the library. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and um, I, honestly, I was so in love with this, mo- with this movie. What the heck? With this book. Like, so in love. 
So re reuniting Tori Spring, her little brother Charlie, and Charlie's boyfriend Nick. This novella sees the spring siblings brave a particularly difficult festive season. Oh. This YA fiction book has romance, LGBTQI, and drama as, a, as the three siblings navigate love, family, and inner turmoil. Oh. Yes, I'm going to tell you that um, it starts off a little sad. Okay. But at the end... It was so cute because these these two brothers, because they have a little brother, mm -hmm. and the sister are so, um, they're so close. Like, they lean on each other. Oh, It's the cutest thing. I mean, because I don't want to give out spoilers, but... Spoiler-free zone in it. Yes, but um, let's just say that they really lean on each other, and the sister is like, She's the middle child, but she is the one that they both lean on. Oh, that must be so much pressure for her. It is, but I'm going to tell you right now that, like, she pulls it off. Oh, that's good. She's like, I'm going to do this. And she's so awesome. She's so amazing. Um, It was just, it was really heartfelt. Like, I fell in love with these three. I really did. It was a really nice story. I honestly, like, too enthusiastic thumbs up. I, I loved it. Maybe I'll give it a read. Yes, it's awesome. So, Emma, should we move on to our next topic? Ooh, yes. It's cures for the winter blues. Oh. What do you do to cure your winter blues? I want to say sleep, but I don't think that cures it. <laughs> <laughs> Just distracts you for a Just while. A, yeah. Um, I like to partake in my hobbies. Okay. Like at the moment. What I'm doing to distract myself from, I guess, maybe, like, the winter blues okay. is I'm preparing for the upcoming convention season. Oh. Yeah. Uh, from all the way from March to, like, July, mm -hmm. it's, like, con season. Oh. Yeah. And I'm going to be going to several different events. Okay. So right now I'm preparing for that, and I like it because it keeps my hands busy, keeps my mind busy. Yeah. For sure. And I like creating things. And while I'm doing this, I'm listening to audiobooks. Mm. Right now, I'm listening to The Hunger Games. Are they from the RGC Public Library? Yes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm getting them off uh, Libby. Okay. And they're, awesome. Oh, they're so good. Like, I'm, oh my god. They, they are good. I have read them before, and I'm so glad that you're enjoying them. Um... There's just something about the Hunger Games. I feel like Hunger Games can be like Harry Potter like, like you know, it's yeah, something like, they it, grew it, with our generation. Yeah, like it's like Twilight Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. It's like that's like that series of books that we grew up with. Oh yeah. But I never had a chance to read the Hunger Games because I'm going to be honest with you, I was a Twilight person. Mm. <laughs> and so right now that I have like an, some free time, I'm listening right. to the audiobook and I just saw the movie the mm -hmm. songbirds and snakes and i was oh, like yes. you know i'm gonna listen to the other books and i am enjoying them thoroughly um just fyi everybody we do talk about that book in one of our pods yeah in one of our previous episodes i did discuss the uh, ballad of songbirds and snakes and i give yes. you my honest opinion yes definitely i will still fight about it mm -hmm. <laughs> now let's just say that you didn't have creative time what would be like your site log like what would i do if yeah. i didn't like have time to work on like my costumes yeah 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 um probably read manga mm. or i guess watch like a... don't judge me <laughs> <laughs> i like watching korean novellas oh my gosh i love korean movies they're so good yeah there's something about a korean novella that's kind of like oh it gets me right in my heartstrings oh so cute what about you what do you do me, honestly, I love to binge watch cho shows. I, I love it. I'm one of those. I'm a homebody, so give me a comfy couch and a TV, and I'm so great. Um, I also love to read. Yes. I do. I really do. I love to read. Um, like I said, I was reading this winter. Um, I'm also currently trying to read books I have at home because I have a lot. I am guilty of that. I have books that I, I got them with the intention of reading them, but then I, I don't know. I guess the time just slipped away from me. Yeah. But I'm also listening to an audiobook 
Which it's you- called The Villains. Oh, that sounds good. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I'll talk about it later, guys. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good so far. And honestly, I read it on my way home. When I'm doing chores, like laundry and stuff, I'll listen to it. I'm like sewing, and then I'll hear something that like President Snow says, and I'm like, oh, he did not. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm the same way, too. So, again, I don't want to give too much away, but the characters um, are doing something, and they're kind of snarky, and I'm like, oh, he did not. Like, he didn't just say that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess what we're trying to say is, to cure the winter blues, you need to do something you enjoy doing. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, it's something that you have to genuinely enjoy for you to feel that relief. Yes, um, that's true. It could be anything. Like, I mean, doing your nail. Mm-hmm. I mean, even taking a shower. Like a nice, there's nothing quite yeah. like a nice hot shower. Yeah, a bath time. I mean, it's really what you like to do. I mean, if you like guitar and stuff, sometimes you'll go off with that, too. Sorry, I just I smelled something right now. Did, did you smell that? No, I just saw your face. <laughs> I don't know. It's... <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, um, speaking of bath time, everyone, let's take a segue here. Can I hear about your national today? Oh my god, that segue is so good. Hey, thank you. <laughs> my, <laughs> my national day is. Rubber Ducky Day. Woo! Oh my gosh. According to the Museum of Play.com, the rubber ducky first appeared on the late in the late 1800s when rubber was more easily accessible and began to be used for many household items. The first rubber ducks didn't even float though. Mm. They were cast solid and intended as chew toys. Oh. By the 1940s, rubber ducks developed into the iconic floating yellow figure with bright orange bill and rec- that's recognizable today. For many decades, most duck figures have been made of vinyl, but we, can, we call them rubber ducks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> rubber duckies. <laughs> okay, before I go on to mine, tell me that you remember the Bert and er- or Ernie song. Or was I- it Bert? Bert? No, Bert. The one with the long head, right? Yeah, Bert and Ernie. Yeah. I do not remember the song. I remember. I don't remember the song. I'm sorry, girl. I was a big Bert girl. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I remember some of it. Do you guys want to hear it? I want to hear it. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> go, he would be like in the bath, right? And he would go, rubber ducky, I, you're the one. <laughs> you make me feel like spring has sprung. <laughs> rubber ducky, I love you <laughs> you even kind of sound like yeah. him <laughs> thank you i was trying i was really trying everybody <laughs> that was so cute thank you for that thank you you're welcome you're welcome Can we, <laughs> what's your national day in it so mine is poetry break day Ooh, what does that mean mm-hmm. so according to national today poetry break day is on january 13th okay and we're we're committed to helping you have an amazing celebration. Do you know that the Mesopotamians epic of Gil- Gilgamesh, sorry, is considered to be the first poem ever written? Oh, I didn't know that. And is about 4,000 years old. Wow. Mm-hmm. Poetry Break Day is a celebration of the poet inside all of us. People celebrate this day by writing poems on their own and also reading poems written by their favorite poets. Some might say that it is a day when poets take a break and people who usually don't write poems take up the responsibility. However, no evidence supports this claim. But one thing we can agree on is that this day celebrates poetry. Aww. And I have a surprise for you guys. What's the surprise in it? I wrote a poem. You wrote a You You did not. Yes, I did. Is okay. I'm not. I'm okay. I'm not looking. I'm just gonna yeah. hear it. I'm gonna listen. Are you guys ready? Yes, I'm okay. ready. So it's called the book to me by me, Linda Vera. So when I open a book, I don't just read. I seek to plant a seed, a seed of wonder, love, and fear. Oh, how I hold my book so dear. They take me to worlds I've never been to. They give me thoughts I've never thought of. So a book to me is much more than just the thing to read. It's a ticket to an imaginary feed. I have the goosebumps. Look, 
Oh my gosh, you're probably just cold, but thank you. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was so sweet. Oh, you wrote that? You. Yes, I wanted to stay on topic, you know. Oh about my books. gosh, that was so good. Thank you. I used to write a lot of poems in high school. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. Yes. That was very good. Thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. Did we move on to our calendar events? I don't want to. I want to keep being a poet but okay <laughs> <laughs> you're always going to be a poet in your heart oh so cute now that we are in january we have a few things planned for the month first every thursday we have fam family game nights here at the rgc public library from 4 p.m to 5 30 p.m we also have winter movie night coming up on january 16th from 4 p.m to also 5 30 p.m here at the rgc public library i'm looking forward to winter movie night i am too I'm, I hope that they like snowmen. Me too. Awesome. <laughs> it looks like an, it looks like a good movie. Uh, when I made the flyer and I looked at the movie, like the snowman is so cute that like, I wanted to cry. Oh, cutie. My turn. <laughs> okay. Yes, tell us about the programs. Yes, programs. For our programs, we have our ESL classes every Tuesday and Thursday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. This just started up again. Yes. Las clases de ESL se llevarán a cabo a la Biblioteca Pública de la Ciudad de Rio Grande, cada martes y jueves de las 9 a las 11. And we also have our adult program called Blissful Balance, Meditation and Yoga for Beginners. For more information on registering, please call 956-487-4389. But we are on our second class, everybody, already. Yes, we have three more classes to go. Yes. And lastly, we have our monthly Beanstack Reading Challenge. Where We Come From Winter Reading Challenge is up from January 1st to the 30th. Again, for more information, do call us or contact us on our various social medias or by calling us to 956-487-4389. You can find us on our social medias as RGC Library. <laughs> very good, very good. Thank you. <sighs> We need to move on, and I, I have a surprise for you. I don't know if you're ready for this. What is the surprise? I need to tell you who the book of the week is, because you're not ready for who the book of the week is. Who is it? Look who's back. It's Pinkalicious. Oh my <laughs> gosh, she's still up there? Mary Pink Miss by Victoria Kent. She's still up there. Oh my gosh, people are still in the Christmas spirit, everybody. Yes. <laughs> In this book, Pinkalish just wants to celebrate the holiday in a way that's as unique as she is, with a gloriously pink tree. But mom and dad immediately say no. The Pinkertons always get real trees for the holidays. Pinkalicious is disappointed, but she tries to put on her best cheerful face. Then the day before Christmas, mom and dad surprise Pinkalicious with a gorgeous pink artificial tree, and the Pinkalicious is delighted. It's pinktastic. Now, if only Pinkalicious could convince Santa to wear pink instead of red. Aww. I can't believe this book is still up there. I can. I mean, we just got off kind of from the, the Christmas holidays. season. We're still in the holidays. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. And I mean, pink, come on. You? Me? I love pink. Yeah. Pink is my favorite color. Mm. And my trees are actually pink in my room. Oh, cute. <laughs> See? Now... We can move on to our staff picks. What is your staff pick? This week, it's my turn. My mm. staff pick is called Crumbs. Ooh, Crumbs. Have you read it? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Falling in love just got sweeter in this charming romantic graphic novel. Ray, a young seer struggling with her powers, discovers first love and friendship in her town's magic bakery. Oh. When Ray meets Lori, the kind barista who aspires to be a professional musician, she gets a real taste of love for the first time. But even with a spark of magic, romance isn't so simple. Both Ray and Lori are chasing their own dreams, and even when Ray starts to see the future, she can't predict her fate with Lori. Based on the beloved uh, webcomic from Webtoon, this sweet coming-of-age story of friendship and first love comes to life in a graphic novel format with the use of gorgeous illustrations. Oh. We have this at the library. That is awesome. I love webtoons. I do too. I'm a sucker for a good webtoon. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Uh, it was I so, have to read it. It's so cute. Actually, I just turned it in, so it should still be there. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'll see you. Why do you know what's next? What's next? You need to tell me because I may have forgotten. Book review. Book reviews. Oh. Do you have your book review in it? Right here. Hold on. I, I don't have mine. <laughs> it's, it's still in my binder. It's right here, everybody. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> sure. Here we go. Rock, paper, paper scissors, shoot. Oh. Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, I'll cover you. I uh, go first. Here you go first. Woo. So this one uh, was wrote anonymously. Okay. It's for the book title is Bless Me Ultima. Okay. The author is Rodolfo Anya. Okay. I feel like we talked about this book before. This one? Yes, but not in a book review. I feel like it was your staff pick. Oh, yes. Yes. From my friend. Yes, yes, yes. They recommended it to me. You're right. And it got five stars out of five. Okay. And then it says, in your own words, what was this book about? Classic tale between good and evil. Oh. Must read for all Mexican Americans. <gasps> That's nice. Mm hmm. And then it says, what did you think of the book? Enjoyable read with a lot of geographical and social imagery. Oh. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. Wow. I mean, I love this book. I'm not going to lie. It's one of my my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, um, it immerses itself in Mexican-American culture. It's an awesome book. Honestly, Rodolfo Anya knows his people. I mean, he does a really good job. This is like the second time I hear of this book. Maybe I should read it. You should. It's awesome. All righty. So my book review is also from someone that's anonymous. Alrighty. It's titled Winter of Our Discontent. Mm. Author John Stingback. It has a five out of five star review. Nice. In your words, what was this book about? A story about a middle aged man seemingly stuck in a midlife crisis. His actions lead to a shocking conclusion. Oh. Oh. That is gripping. Mm hmm. What did you think of the book? Great read, lots of dialogue. Oh. Oh. You gotta love a dialytic. I do. Like when I read books that are like not very much dialogue that they're just describing like the scenery, I'm like, okay, I understand that that box is in the corner, but please tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> Who put the box there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that was nice. It was. It really was. Well, you know what time it is in it. I don't want to go. I don't either. I understand. But you know what in it? Mm. We will be back. Yes, we will. So, we would like to thank everyone who turned in, tuned in, sorry, turned in, I'm thinking about books already. <laughs> <laughs> tuned in today, today's episode. We would like to send you off with a quote. When I got my library card, that was when my life began. Rita Mae Brown. Aww. Until next time, this is Cover, cover to Cover, an RGC Library Podcast. This podcast is an initiative of the City of Rio Grande City and the Rio Grande City EDC. If you would like to know more about certain topics pertaining to the municipality or have an idea for an upcoming podcast, email mgomez at rgcedc.com or brubio at cityofrgc.com. RGC Podcast.